Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to the Housing Report. Today we have fresh figures through from Barford & Thompson. Now they're the largest real estate agency group in Auckland, so people watch them very closely and they also come out with their numbers a few days before the Real Estate Institute of New Zealand reports on the whole of New Zealand, so they're an early indicator. What they show is that house prices in Auckland are down 7% from their peaks in December and the volumes of properties going through, being sold, are down sharply. In April, Bartford and Thompson sold 453 properties. That's down a half from April a year ago and it's down substantially from March as well. But listings, so the number, amount of supply on the market, it's up at a record 7,843. So just to put that into perspective, they sold 453 properties, yet they have 7,843 properties listed. That means now one in every 20 house for sale is being sold. That's down from one in every five a year ago. It's a clearance rate of 5%. And that's down from an average clearance rate of 19% in 2007 and 20% in 2006. And you can see from this chart how essentially in late 2007 the market started to, to fall off quite sharply. And through the early 2008 it's fallen even further. So what does that mean? Not enough demand and too much supply means two things. Firstly, prices fall and the number of houses being sold falls. And also we have a surplus of glossy paper on the streets right now. There's an awful lot of property presses being printed. Not many people are reading them and they don't seem to be having an effect in the sales process either. Now the head of Barford and Thompson, Peter Thompson, says that prices are still holding and that the market is not in free fall and that some in the media, and I think he's referring to me in particular, would have you believe that the market is in trouble when it really isn't. The trouble is his own figures show that the number of new listings coming on has dropped to about 1,590 in April from 2049 in February. But remember, for, he sold 453 properties, but three times as many new properties came onto the market. Essentially, the Auckland housing market has ground to a halt and people selling have to accept lower prices. And where Auckland goes, the nation normally goes as well. I'm Bernard Hickey. That was the Housing Report from interest.co.nz.